All right, here is a commercial MRE from Meal Kit Supply. This one is menu number one, spaghetti with beef and sauce. And then this one has a date code of 5300, and it was packaged on the 300th day of 2015. Spaghetti with beef and sauce, 5246 for the date code. Side of au gratin potatoes, 5260. This is the sleeve for the spaghetti with beef and sauce. Has the ingredients and the nutrition facts on that. Great beverage base powder. Trans fat free carrot pound cake. Crackers and plain cheese spread, 1.5 ounces. There's these little, little card for the nutrition facts and the ingredients for the agrotin potatoes. A sure pack flameless ration heater. Hot sauce and accessory pack. Which includes a spoon, deep rich coffee, fresh nap moist towelette, Sugar, salt and pepper, coffee mate creamer, and napkin. All right, we'll start off by heating up the spaghetti and the potatoes. See how well this four year old flames ration heater works. This be activating pretty quickly. It's a good sign. Carrot pound cake, trans fat free. Crackers, and the cheese spread, Beverage base powder takes 12 ounces of water. and the coffee. And finally, potatoes and our spaghetti. They're very hot.
impressively hot. Alright, for being almost four years old, everything seems to look pretty good in this one. I guess uh, visually, the worst thing I can see is a bit of clumpiness in the cheese spread, which I needed a lot, and it still came out, it's not bad, but just a little bit of a clumpiness to it. And sort of an overall dryness uh, and appearance to the spaghetti with beef and sauce. But no bad smells, everything looks just fine. I think I'm just trying to be as picky as possible. And yeah, let's go ahead and try this out. Your standard MRE pasta dish, classic spaghetti with meat sauce. You can see a little bit of a chunk of tomato here. And uh, seems to taste just fine. And maybe it's just a little bit a little bit tinny, almost like it has a little bit of a metallic taste from the packaging. But uh, nothing doesn't taste like anything's gone bad in it. It's just the nice processed little chunks of beef in there, a lot of them, and little short strands of pasta, which they're not too soggy considering they've been sitting in there for four years. They're, everything seems to be just fine with this one. And obviously it's a bonus to have it heated up too. That always helps the flavor. Try the au gratin potatoes. And those generally tend to be a little bit on the bland side. I think, um, once again, I think heating it actually helps the flavor, as strange as it might sound. Because the last time I had some of these, they weren't heated up as much as these. And it does seem to have a little bit more of the cheese flavor. Potatoes are cooked just fine, not overly hard, not overly soft. Just, uh, you can just bite right into them. And the cheese is definitely a nice little flavor touch. I do always seem to have to add a little salt and pepper to this, so I'll go ahead and do that. It never seems to be quite as flavorful as I expect and hope it to be. But it's an easy fix. Yeah, it's a big help. And obviously, you can put salt and pepper in the pasta, in the spaghetti, but I really don't think it needs it. And they also have the hot sauce, which could go on either or both, but I also don't think it needs that. And try some of the coffee. This tastes just fine. It's nice that it's, uh, it's really hot. You use boiling water with it. And it's just your standard instant coffee with some cream and sugar, make it a little bit sweeter. I'm going to try the cracker first. It seems to be just fine. I was a little surprised by how much it broke up when I was taking it out of the package, but there's no bleachy smell coming off of it. It doesn't seem to be stale or anything like that. It's not very exciting flavor, it's just a, a pretty bland, flavorless cracker. It doesn't even really have salt on it. But of course that's part of the reason why you have a spread. In this case, the cheese spread, which adds a lot of flavor and seems to be just fine. It does have a little bit of an odd texture that goes along with the appearance. When you're eating it, it kind of feels like it looks, this sort of like clumpiness to it, but the flavor itself seems to be just fine. I'll try the grape beverage, which is actually in the more traditional purple color rather than the more modern blue color. It tends to be a little bit off-putting just because it looks so weird and unnatural. There's nothing more natural about this one, but at least the color looks a little bit more familiar. And it tastes just fine. It tastes like a kid's drink, like a Kool-Aid kind of a thing. But it has a nice grape flavor to it. And we'll finish up with the trans fat free carrot pound cake. Which uh, you can see actually without even having to get into it. It's, it's nice and moist. It's kind of it's a little bit oily. It definitely has some nice moisture to it. This is probably my least favorite of the pound cakes. But it doesn't mean I don't like it by any means. I like all the pound cakes pretty much. This is probably just the one that I like the least of all of them. And it's actually very similar to a lot of the other ones, like the uh, spice cake, the applesauce cake. They all have kind of a, the same sort of a banana nut bread kind of a smell to them, which is good. It's a pleasant smell, but it's sort of weird how they all kind of smell the same too. And you can kind of see, let me see. Maybe you can see that. That is a weird bit of blue coloring that kind of looks like mold. I guess it's just uh, one of the ingredients that didn't really mix all that well because I don't see any reason why there'd be mold in this. I don't see it anywhere else. It's not on the uh, surface at all. So I'm guessing that's just a, a little fluke. 
Let's give it a try and see how it tastes. Yeah, it tastes good. Uh, I'm hoping that's not mold, but I don't really see any other evidence. And one thing I do forget about this is while the taste is pretty similar to the other cakes I mentioned, like the spice cake, it, this one does have walnuts in it. That could be an issue if it's stored for a long period of time, but four years is no problem. You can kind of, I think you can see the walnut there. So it has the uh, carrots in it, and it has walnuts. Yeah, it's really good. The spices come through. It has molasses in it. It's a, it's a very tasty cake. So definitely this meal has survived well for the past four years. Uh, everything seems to be edible. A few very early warning signs. It might not be too much longer before you really wouldn't want to be eating this. But it's a good, mostly well-balanced meal. It has a lot of starches in it, but other than that, it's kind of a nice spread there. So that was a look at an MRE from Meal Kit Supply. Menu number one, spaghetti with beef and sauce from 2015. Thank you for watching.